Greetings YouTube, the armies of Sparta are pushing forwards here, Elite Legionario here, bringing you some Rome 2 action. Obviously I am playing as Sparta as we are getting a nice back view of the Heroes, uh, yeah, Heroes of Sparta unit. Looking at pretty sweet looking units here. Got some Halot Javelinmen coming in there for support and we're quickly rush, rushing up this hill here to get the, basically just deny our opponent. So, um, my army is I got two heroes of Sparta. I had four units of Halot Javelin, four or five, yeah, five units of Spartan Pikemen, uh, five units of Royal Spartans, and two units of Citizen Cavalry. So all I'm trying to achieve here is I'm not going to hill camp, but I'm just going to get up here first so my ally can't hill camp. I didn't know if he, I wasn't not that I was I'm not accusing him of hill camping, but I can't be sure when I'm starting. Obviously he's playing his Rome, so uh, let's just slow the speed down. So let's see, he's got a couple of this is a Soki Equite here, a unit of Praetorian cavalry there. He's got a general bodyguard there, another Praetorian cavalry there. He's also got, let's see, one, two, three, uh, let's see, three, four, let's see, okay, so it looks like he's got four Evocati uh, cohort and four Praetorian guards, and it looks like he's got four, I think, three or four auxiliary Syrian archers. So he's going to try and push onto my flank. I have denied him the hill, but like I said, I'm not going to hell camp. It's not my style, but I just don't want anyone else to do it against me. So I'm just going to push up here. Let's get some more down shots. These are the Spartan pikemen. These guys use the long Sarissa pike, whereas the other guys use the shorter one. So here, um, I made it a feint to do an attack on his infantry cavalry there, see if I could draw him in, so I could draw him into the range of my Royal Spartans. Not that I really expect them to take that, but, you know, I thought maybe he might. So, let's see. Three three Praetorian Cav and a Saki Equite. Yes. Um, Rome, in my opinion, is pretty... It's very powerful, but the Praetorian Cavalry should be capped, in my opinion. That's just my opinion, but... Yeah. I also got two units of slings. Slingers, I forgot forgot to get them. Anyway, so um, I'm just starting this hill, but I mean, it is a wee bit of a campy situation, so I will come down off it. But he's going to outrange my guys here. Well, for now he is. So he's pulling uh, his, he's breaking his guys up, he's pulling his Praetorian guards onto the right, and he's going to face me with two units of Praetorians, I think, and three or four units of Evocati. Both of which are extremely good. So anyway, the lads, the uh, javelin men are opening up with some missile fire there, all along the line. They're rushing forward under fire there, and I think the battle over here might have starting to begin. Here we go, this is more important. So here's a nice piece of cav... Oops, sorry guys, missed the wrong button then. So here's the cav rush, looking pretty darn awesome. So I quickly get into a battle there, but my citizen cavalry won't be a match for them. However, I do manage to intercept him with some of my Spartans there. My Royal Spartans is a pretty crunching blow there. I hope you can hear me over all that battle noise when I go in close. You might not be able to. So if I do get a bit loud, it's because I'm trying to speak over it. Over here, there's uh, plenty of javelin fire. Although I probably should have gone to, um, to uh, flaming javelins. I forgot about that. But the biggest, most important part of the fight is down here. Uh, as you can see, his Praetorian Cavalry, even with the support of... Uh, where is it? Not sure. I bring in some uh, royal, more Royal Spartans here to lend an assist. Some pretty fantastic battles. Here I rush my other phalanxes down. Actually, I'm looking at the wrong units. Anyway, I rush them down. And I think I don't quite get him into Phalanx fast enough. And unlike in original Rome, once you get fixed without Phalanx, you're out of it for good. There's some awesome close-ups here. Looking really beautiful. Look at this guy here, rocking it in. Uh, however, I do manage to completely outflank him with this unit of uh, phalanxes here, and I am in formation, so I'm going to really squish these cohorts pretty badly here. So some pretty brutal action going on there. However, those cohorts are a lot stronger and my guys are starting to rout. But over here where I've got my Royal Spartans in the battle, um, 
I am very effectively damaging. However, I pull off a unit of my Spartan Pikeman here to go after his cavalry to stop it outflanking me. However, I can't do it really fast enough, so he's going to get some pretty large numbers down there. And I was quite worried because there's a lot of Praetorian guards in there as well, which could turn that because they are a really strong infantry unit. So uh, my javelinmen are still flinging missile fire in, but over this side, um, my heroes of Sparta units have done very well. I uh, held in a lot of units, but my Spartan pikemen have not done as great. Uh, well, some of them have done okay. However, um, the main fight is over here, and I have to deal with this very quickly. And uh, I do manage to rout his general though, and that is what turns this fight on this side into my favour. And uh, fortunately that happened because I think I may have lost it, because it was really proven close. Um, as you can see, when his general goes, a lot of his units started to rout there. Although, my heroes of Sparta unit here have um, become surrounded. Uh, but this is a pretty awesome scrap. And, I mean, Roman and uh, Spartan units always looked awesome in the original. Over here, uh, I think I rallied there because my general's in this area. As you can see, it's breaking a lot of his men up. And i got to say, the citizen... Um, the citizen cavalry used by Sparta are very powerful, which in my opinion is probably not really a good thing, because Sparta shouldn't be known for having decent cavalry, because they didn't. They never at any point in their history had any good cavalry, except if they hired like mercenaries, which I don't really think they did a lot of the time, so um, at least not good cavalry mercenaries. It wasn't in their thinking. So anyway, over here I managed to destroy the right flank with all the Praetorian card and Praetorian cavalry. And uh, this one unit of Spartan pikemen is really, really mopping up. Um, it's doing a fantastic job. And because this general has died, um, it's done a really number on this guy's morale. Um, so it's very important that you look after your general, obviously. But unlike the other previous Total War games, or at least like Empire and Napoleon, your general is actually quite strong. Like the earlier Total War games, which pleases me. So as you can see, the Spartan, the Royal Spartans have really lost very limited casualties and done very done a really great job against some extremely powerful opponents. Um, but basically the idea was to use the hill only to stop my opponent from having it and then I rushed down. And as you can see uh, his his remaining cohorts are completely broken. They'll rout any moment now. As you can see the rest of his troops are pro well, it's my troop there but it should be okay. Um, and this unit here will just rout when I get close enough, I think. Yeah, I think it just breaks. There, and there you go, they're gone. So that was a good game to my opponent. I do have another battle I have against this guy. So we played a couple of games. This one went to me though. Um, and I must say, I rather like Sparta. Um, I don't know why, but I can't bring you the uh, the results. But uh, the Royal Spartans, they got a lot of kills. Um, the Spartan Pikemen, one or two of them did okay. Those ones that survived. But most of them got creamed. Um, my cavalry got pretty wasted as well, and my heroes of Sparta got some high kills as well, I think. Uh, my javelins and did quite well. They tend to always do well in Rome too. I really like them. Um, and I was, what's mostly thrilling about this video, though, is the fact that actually the replay didn't crash. I don't know why, but I'm not complaining. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed this one. A great game to my opponent. I do have some more I did against this guy. He was nice and friendly, good sport, and... Um, Hope you're enjoying this, and uh, uh, that previous video I put on a few days back uh, about what what you guys might want me to do next seems most. I got a few ideas for campaigns, all for this game, more for more, more or less. Um, with Path here in the front at this stage, I'll give it. I'll give it a couple more days. I'll, I'll bring you as many battles as I can. I'll bring it a couple more days, and. Um, but at the moment, Parthia is in front, so then I've got Epirus and Athens on equal for second, and I think I've got Sparta behind that. But at the mo this stage, it looks like I could be doing a Parthian campaign, which could be very interesting, because I'm not good at campaign, I don't really know how the campaign works in this game. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. I was really glad the video didn't crash when I recorded it, and I thought it was a great game. It seems like it ended with some pretty good numbers there, um, and Royal Spartans are very effective if you get them into Phalanx and look after them. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.